Hi, this is Luis Rodriguez from Fresh Dog Books and today in this video I'm going to be explaining you more details about the features that we added to Piña 3. Piña 3 is the open source 3D printed platform that we use to create our own recipes. So if you want to learn more, just watch the rest of the video. Thank you! And here I am, right now I'm at the Art Center Navi in Seoul. Somebody's coming. This is a really nice place because they have allowed me to stay here during the few weeks that I'm in Seoul to obviously do my usual mess and craziness in their kitchen. And there is where we go because that's where Piña 3 is. Let's visit it. Piña 3 is a 3D printer. That's pretty obvious. It's based on a Delta printer. But apart from that, when it was designed and conceived, it was always thinking more on where it was going to be rather than about building a Delta printer. This printer stays in the kitchen. So a few of the features that I was able to, to fit in it were related to that. For me, the most important one was the size and the portability. This printer fits under the cabinets of the Pier 9 kitchen. That is where it was developed. Also, a printing area, it has an off space so dishes can be slid in and the size of these dishes that this printer allowed it's mainly for for the dishes size that we had at the pier but also it has other features that help a lot in terms of battle with with appliances in the kitchen such as like having uh, connectors and power plug. This is nice because it resembles more to a uh, kitchen appliance rather than previous printers that I was using. What else? What else? Uh, this is not from Piña 3 but I think it's something common from other previous 3D foot printer platforms that I built. This is the fact that all the electronics are located above and that helps a lot mainly to to survive to any type of uh, food explosion or maybe water spills on top of the table where you're actually working what might not be normal in a regular 3d printing space but for kitchen space is quite normal that's why all the electronics are located above another reason for example another nice feature that is not actually new but is the magnet joint magnet joints that help a lot to remove things especially when it gets dirty and clean them one by one and I also like it a lot because since this is not a printer, it's actually a platform that allows to exchange a lot of different extruders and, and tools to, to work with food. It's nicely to have access to, to the end effector in a really easy way. So, so changing the tool is actually quite simple. And I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know. Some people has asked me before, what is the difference between this and a 3D printer? And for me, there is a lot of them, but most of them are emotional. The, and, the, and the reason why I say this is because if I actually want to convert this into printing with plastic, it would be as easy as adding a, a filament extruder, but that's not what I want. If I want to have a plastic printer, I would not take this type of approach. So yes, it's a 3D foot printing platform. And by platform, I mean that I can use a lot of different types of extruders, like this one. All the stainless steel that has uh, built in it, like all the plates. And starting from the, from, the, from the base, this is made, I think it's like three millimeters, maybe 90 thousandths stainless steel 304. And the reason is to have kind of a sturdy base. It helps me to fit it inside of a pellet case when I travel. And the rest of the plates uh, are used to locate connectors, hold the LCD, and this is more like decoration. Something that I experienced, especially when I showed the printer to people who might not be interested in how it works or the parts that it has, is that they don't feel much uh, engaged and confident with the printer if they see that it has a lot of cables flying so that's why most of the stainless steel plates are in place and also because I had access to a water jet <laughs> at Pier 9 what is amazing and 
give me the chance to learn and and to explore working with a stainless steel. And on top and on top of it is where we have the electronics. It's where we're going right now. Here they are. Shout out to Arthur Wolf for sending me this uh, board during the smoothie board contest. I'm really, really enjoying using it. I've learned a lot from it. I think it's a really interesting platform and quite different from others available that that helps to, to, to have a different vision to it. Uh, I have a pretty basic setup where I have the board with five uh, stepper drivers, the um, LCD or well, GLCD from RepRap Discount con connected to. I added these because I wanted to see how it would help me to have this type of interaction in the kitchen and explore new ways to, to improve that because that's something that I'm really obsessed about on how somebody can actually relate to the printer in order to create their own and customize food. And something cool too, obviously this is piña 3, so if you have one, two, three laser cutter piñas. That for me is important. But going back to the electronics, something different is I added two extra stepper motors. This is for an upcoming experiment. And I would say that's pretty much all. We have the electronics, the board. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this walk through Piña 3. I'm sure I will have new videos coming soon explaining more about it. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. There will be more surprises. Thanks to Norbert and Ignazi for suggesting doing this video. It's for you. So at least I hope to have two views. Take care. Bye.